Hey, what's up YouTube and anyone watching there? Alright, today's tutorial I will be teaching you guys how to use progress bar in full detail in Visual Basic 2010, 2008 or 2005. Any version of Visual Basic will work except the version 6.0 which is the old version of Visual Basic. Okay, what I got in my form over here is one label, two progress bars and four buttons and one timer okay before i actually begin the coding i'm just gonna quickly show you how it looks like in runtime so that you get an idea of what i'm trying to show in this video as you can see it's it says installing and then the percentage and the progress bar one shows the buffering the little blocks and once it's done it says complete and then you can use these buttons to move the progress bar step by step like five after every five it moves five further five before and then using this button over here it makes it hundred and this button makes it zero okay um so now you get an idea of what i'm trying to show i'm just quickly running through the codings okay before you begin you have to type in my dim my progress as integer underneath the form one okay and then you press this and in form one load event you have to type in progress bar one dot style equals progress bar style dot marquee progress bar two dot style equals progress bar two uh, progress bar style dot continuous progress bar two dot step equals one timer one dot enable equals true progress bar one dot minimum equals zero progress bar one dot maximum equals hundred progress bar one dot value equals zero and then you go back to your form one design double click on button one and here you are in button one progress bar one dot value equals zero that's pretty simple okay button two you type in if progress bar one dot value is greater than zero then progress bar one dot value minus equals five so it subtracts five till it reaches zero and button three does the pretty much the same thing but opposite okay so button three if progress bar one dot value is less than hundred then progress bar one dot value plus equals five so in this case it adds five till it reaches hundred and the last button which is the button four you type in progress bar one or value equals hundred and that's pretty much it and um okay so you go to your timer one now if progress bar two dot value equals my progress this is the variable we we define underneath the form one and if my progress is less than 100 then my progress equals my progress plus one label one dot text equals quotations installing and my progress and percentage if my progress equals then label one dot text equals complete progress bar one dot style equals progress bar style dot continuous progress bar one dot value equals zero timer one dot enable equals false and that's pretty much it so you don't have to look around on youtube for other progress bar videos because i've explained you in full detail and the codes are in the description for you guys to copy please rate comment and subscribe to my channel